Desmond Elliott breaks down in tears on national TV. Popular Nollywood actor Desmond Elliott, and now politician, who has come under fire from a lot of people in Nigeria due to his comments in the Lagos State House of Assembly, has broken down in tears on national TV as he tries to express himself. Recall that there has been series of looting and destruction of private and public properties by hoodlums throughout the country, which comes as a ripple effect of the NSAS protests, which rocked the nation recently. People saw it as an opportunity to destroy government properties, which includes police stations, government houses, COVID-19 palliatives found in warehouses around the country, and many more. The Lagos State House of Assembly held a sitting on Thursday to discuss security issues that arose due to these looting and destructions. In the meeting, Desmond Elliott, who is also a Nollywood actor, expressed his disappointment in the Nigerian youths, especially celebrities. And while he was speaking, he referred to them as children. This caused a lot of outcry against him as people insisted that he was working against the youths in Nigeria. Desmond Elliott granted an interview to Arise News to clear the air and address people about what he said in the House of Assembly. He stated that he his emotions got a better part of him and he was never against the Nigerian youth. While he made this statement, he became teary and emotional on TV. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? And be that as it is, you know, one thing with Nigerians is this. If you, Nigerians got no chill for people who cannot channel their thoughts appropriately and the youth are ready to pounce on anybody who airs or emits unguarded thoughts. And that is what has happened to Desmond Elliott. Desmond Elliott has been a favorite of the people. He has been a man of the people ever since his days on the screen. So even going into politics, you know, has also endeared him somehow into the minds of people. But it is sad and unfortunate that things are turning the wrong way for him. And people are not, are not buying you know, this excuse at this particular point in time. This comment has to do with, you know, social media. How would a youth who understands or who wrote on the platform of social media to also, you know, get elected into office be speaking against a social media? This is what people are saying and talking about. Why would you be, you know, speaking against social media? What has social media done to you? You know, why would you regulate or ban social media? Because according to them that, uh, you know, social media... The NSAS protest started from social media. Fine. Every 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 media every platform has its uh, its pros and cons, and the uh, government should also know that. And all politicians as at today wrote, you know, on the platform of this particular social media to get elected in office. And the people that are supposed to speak for the youth. Who understand what is going on about the youth seem to be the ones you know antagonizing or speaking against the youth and hitherto the youths have decided to descend on him one thing is very very clear if you are not uh, strong enough man enough don't go on social media and if you are not uh, mature enough or strong enough to withstand what social media will throw at you then don't just even go there However, it is what it is. Now he has realized his mistakes and um, he's beginning, he has apologized 
you know, and uh, he, to the extent that he's even teary. Well, however, this is his apology. He said Desmond Elliott, who is a lawmaker representing Surulere local government area at the Lagos House of Assembly, has come under intense dragging on social media. Over his latest comments on hashtag NSAS protesters, Desmond Elliott said that social media influencers and celebrities fueled the hate during the NSAS protest, which caused the country enough damages. Desmond Elliott at first during the protest had supported the cause of the people calling for an end to police brutality. It was quite surprising that he changed his tune when he got to the house and made some reckless statements. He has however been he has however taken to his social media account to apologize to the youths for the reckless manner he he presented the issue at the house. This is what he posted on his official handles on social media. I have read your honest feedbacks and suggestions and sincerely I apologize for addressing the youth as children. I did not mean to be insensitive with this. It was born out of the magnitude of destruction and looting of businesses I witnessed when I went on a tour of my constituency. I saw women crying and many constituents members distraught as a result of the damages inflicted on their source of livelihood. I was moved by this while giving my submission on the floor of the house. I allowed my emotions get the better of me and for this I apologize to everyone my earlier statements may have hurt. Please. Understand that even the best of us make mistakes. This is why moving forward, I ask that we all try to engage constructively on the issues that affect all of us. I promise to do the same. The pain that I feel for my constituents, the calls for assistance that I continue to get and the need to mitigate against further destruction and violence will continue to drive my engagements at work. I thank you all for expressing your views and in the future, I promise to be more conscious and aware. Together, we will build a better Nigeria. Desmond Elliott, in his long post, revealed that he didn't mean to be insensitive, but was rather perplexed by the number of looting recorded in his constituency. People's source of income was destroyed and he let his emotions got the better part of him. He asked for forgiveness and promised to be more conscious and aware next time. It is not clear if Nigerian youth will forgive him so soon because they felt the ex Nollywood actor was playing a script for the big weeks to support his political career. A lesson he won't forget so soon is not to cross his boundary with the Nigerian youths. Exactly. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, it is what it is. Do you think that, you know, getting into power changes people or corrupts people? As the notion has been held by uh, many people, to some extent it is true. And uh, we are already seeing it as it were. You know, power corrupts, power changes, power turns people you know, upside down and uh, mix them to, you know, sometimes make some of them to what they don't mean to do or what they are not supposed to do. These are some of the issues on ground. But it is what it is, guys. Will the Nigerian youth forgive Desmond Elliott? Well, things are changing in Nigeria. You know, things are taking a turn. You know, gradually, things are definitely taking a turn. People may not understand it, but, you know, sooner or later, People will get to see it and understand that things are truly taking a turn. But be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Please drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.